My name is Dr. Amir. I have been receiving many questions about pneumonia. Unfortunately, we are still seeing a lot of COVID-19 cases, which are a major cause for pneumonia. Sadly, pneumonia is still the leading cause of death worldwide, especially in the developing countries. So in this video, I will be discussing how to treat pneumonia from either bacteria or influenza virus. The most common symptoms are fever and cough, which can be either dry or with phlegm. Other symptoms are chest pain and difficulty breathing. Pneumonia can be caused by either a virus or by bacteria. In general, if the phlegm is either yellow or green, then it's more likely caused by bacteria. On the other hand, dry cough might be caused by a virus. Normally, we diagnose pneumonia by listening to the lungs with a stethoscope, then by confirming it with a chest X-ray or a CT scan. Sometimes we send the phlegm for culture in order to find the cause of the infection, but this is not always helpful. First, I will discuss the bacterial pneumonia. Obviously, the choice for antibiotics depends on the type of the bacteria, the severity of the infection, and the degree of antibiotic resistance in your area. So it should be definitely recommended by your doctor and not you. In general, the treatment for a young, healthy person without any serious medical problem is to recommend either augmentin or doxycycline. But for older patients over 65 years or patients with chronic medical problems, then it is recommended to use two types of antibiotics together. First one is either augmentin or Zinat combined with either Zistromax or Clacid or doxycycline. Another option is to use single strong antibiotic called Tabanic. In general, all of them should be taken for 10 days. Next, I will discuss viral pneumonia. Of course, before COVID-19, influenza was the most common cause for it, which can be prevented by taking the flu shot every year. As you know, antibiotics don't kill viruses. But for influenza, we can use antiviral medicine called Tamiflu. But sometimes we can also use antibiotics in severe pneumonia, especially if we are not sure of its cause. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. If you do, please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.